Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is White. Oh, wait, wrong, uh, wrong account, sorry. Um, this is One I Open, or Chris, and that was a little joke. I'm, uh, this is episode 3 of my Let's Play, and I'm using a bit higher render settings this time, so I'm hoping everything goes all okay. But I did a few things. I made a bed, I went out and got some sheep, I searched for like an hour, so you're welcome. And I, f um, I put all my stuff that I was carrying in here. And I think I ate a few pork chops or something. I don't I don't really remember it. I haven't played this game in a while, unfortunately. Wait a second, I had a sword. Oh yeah, I had to turn off some rain earlier, I think. Where did I put my sword? Darn it. Uh who cares? Okay. So uh maybe it broke or something. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna work on getting some power, some more power. Scratch that. No. No. Absolutely not. What we're going to do today, first of all, let me make sure I'm on pe uh, peaceful. I'm not supposed to be on peaceful. Why did I put it on peaceful? Oh, yeah, sorry. I started a new world. Um, it was a test world or something, and yeah, my bad. So what I'm going to do also, I need to check and see. Oh, that's bad. What I'm going to do is go find a really nice place where I want to set up shop, like I've said before, because I'm tired of this mine. I don't want this cave anymore. It's icky, and I, ugh, it smells bad, and the... The Endermen upstairs, they won't shut up, and so yeah, so we're gonna go find a uh, nice place to live, and I will be right back once I find a place. Hopefully it'll be near um, my little mine area here. I have a good idea, but we'll see what happens, so I will be right back. Oh yeah, also one more thing, um, up in the top right corner, you'll see a little green arrow, or wow, I'm sorry, um, see a red arrow, not green, unless you're colorblind. I'm sorry, that was kind of mean. Um, I was thinking of Call of Duty and Colorblind Assist and how I play on Colorblind Assist because you can see... Never mind, this is Minecraft. Shut up, Chris. Alright, so, um, yeah, I installed REI's minimap. That's what it's called. So, yeah, BRB. And in case you weren't aware, BRB stands for Bring Richard Back. Uh, I don't know if you, you guys are texters or, or anything, but yeah, that's what that stands for. Alright guys, so I'm just exploring a little bit, and I'm there's my reeds over there by the lake, I'm up on a little mountain, and I think I'm gonna flatten out this area right here, and start my house right here, and I think, I think I'm gonna like it there, I'm not really sure, might, uh, might change my mind and decide to go somewhere else, I thought about maybe like clearing out, uh, the top of this mountain or something, but, I don't know, it just seems like I, I wouldn't wanna be too far away from my mind and I don't want to be too high up and yeah I don't know I think I'm just gonna flatten out this area right here and do that kind of um well now now that I'm down here the idea seems kind of unappealing to be honest so I'm gonna keep looking uh, okay yeah I changed my mind what we're actually gonna do is well you'll see in a minute actually but as you can see um, I'm gonna go and make a slight change to my mod selection and um, uh, this is really gonna help me out actually so I will be right back okay guys I'm finally back and let's go inside because it's getting dark what I actually did is I uninstalled too many items TMI and I installed any I, which stands for not enough items, and this basically upgrades your stuff. I've got cheat mode off, meaning if I try to give myself some yellow wool, it is not going to work. But here's something cool I, I can do. Let's say I want to know how to make a sickle. So here's a stone sickle. Let's check, out, let's check this out. If I mouse over and hit R, that was E. If I mouse over and hit R, I get the recipe. So... I no longer have to tab out and say, excuse me, well, I, I'll probably still, like, uh, you know, stop recording and stuff, but now I can look up every recipe extremely easily right from in the game without uh, using the crafting guide, which, um, no offense to the maker, is kind of hard to use, but yeah. So let's say I want to know how to use, how to make a piston. I can make, oh, fail. Oh, 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 oh God, oh. Okay, piston. There it is. Hit R. Okay, my bad. Mouse over it. What was that? I don't know what that was. Oh, okay. Well, there's the thing. Why did I just get an error? I don't know why I just got an error. 
That's... Why did I just get an error? I'm a little confused right now. Um... Okay, I guess I... Oh, okay, I guess I hit D and it disabled it. My bad. Uh, okay. Uh, I got scared for a second. But yeah, so now what we're gonna do is wait until daytime. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, um, actually, I actually... Um, looked up how to make a sickle for a reason. Um, I bet you can't guess why. If you said because I actually want to make one, you are horribly wrong, and you should just you should just stop. No, no, uh, I actually do want to make one. So if you said that, uh, didn't I just have like a whole stack of cobblestone? That worries me. What just happened? Did I? Did you guys see that? I swear I didn't like s cut recording or anything. I could have sworn I had a whole stack. But anyways, I'm going to make a stone sickle and I'll be right back. Actually, no, I will not be right back. I decided I will actually show you where I'm going. Um, I found a nice little flat area right over here. Here's some bones. That's nice. And this is, I decided uh, where I'm going to make my house. I'm going to clear it out. But there's grass everywhere. It's like a giant grassland. I hate grass and it's so annoying. And But I get why it has its uses and stuff. But still, no, it's just, just uh, take the grass out, please. Because, uh, yeah, thanks. But anyways, um, since I have a sickle, what I can do, let me actually get to where I wanted to make my house, which is right about here. If I click a piece of grass, it destroys all the grass in a five block radius. And it does have a... Um, a like it does degrade so yeah I can just clear out this grass and then but yeah so what I'm gonna do I'll be right back I'm gonna um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear out uh, this grass and then I'm gonna flatten the area and set up and get ready to make myself a house so I'll be right back Okay guys, I'm uh, back in my little cave here and I'm put some coal in this generator and I'm macerating some iron and cooking up some smooth stone for my house. So I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update and also my chest refuses to close. So yep. Okay, so I've just run out of power and I've decided I want to stay in this cave a little longer until I can get enough resources, enough coal to make um, enough smooth stone to actually build a house with it because I, I do like building smooth stone houses I think they look a lot better and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try I'm, I have no idea if I have enough resources but I'm gonna try and build this this is an extractor and we build it like so I keep hitting E sorry build it like this so we need an electronic circuit and a machine block so there's six iron and I don't think I have any more, but I do have some iron dust, so I can cook that up. So what I can do is take this out, put in some redstone, and bam. So I'll be right back once that's all cooked up. And there's eight, which is as, which is as much as we need, so I'm a little tired. And all we have to do is, nope, sorry, we have to smelt this too. So, be right back. Okay, there we go. There's eight, I need to shut my door. And, there we are, machine block. Now we need an circuit, not an circuit, we need a circuit. Okay, so for that circuit, we need some rubber, which I'm cooking up now. And there we go, that's enough. So let's just do that. We need six of these, one refined iron. So, and then we need two redstone. Oh, that's ironic. Okay, um, I don't believe I have any more. So I'm going to have to go mine a little while until I can find some. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm uh, down here mining, and I just found some of this stuff. It looks like redstone, except it's blue. It's called Nicolite, and I believe it is used in industrial craft. But don't quote me on that. 
Woot! I'm down here, and I just found some diamonds, so that's awesome. I also got some, uh, <laughs> that's a cool achievement. Um, I just got some redstone as well. So, in fact, I'm going to head back on upstairs and do something for you guys. Okay, so, what we're gonna do is take our one refined iron, two redstone, and six copper cables, and we're gonna make an electronic circuit. Then, I've already forgot the recipe. Oh, duh, okay. So, here, here, and then remember when we made those tree taps? That was to make this an extractor. Now, what the extractor will do, we actually need, whoops, we need some more cable. But anyways, what the extractor will do, and for now, I'm just gonna, hmm. We're just gonna do something like this. What the extractor will do when it has power is if we put in rubber wood, we'll get a piece of resin for each, um, or no, I'm sorry, we'll get a piece of rubber for each piece of wood, but if I were to have resin on me, which I don't, we would get, I think it's either two or three, I think it's two for each resin. So yeah, but for now we'll just put in this wood, and then we'll put a piece of coal in there, and that's still macerating, and I'll let you guys see this, hang on just a second, I'll wait for it to go, and there it is, one piece of rubber for one piece of wood. So I'll just let that run, it's probably about, yeah, it's about to run out of power already, so yeah, I'm gonna, let me think here, let me think what I want to do next. Okay, so I do know what I want to do next, and I think I've given myself everything for it. Hopefully I have. First of all, well, look at that. Already a mistake. Uh, we need this, and I'm actually going to need one more. Where's my... Did I... Right, okay, I need one more refined iron. Let's let that cook up real fast. And then we're going to go over here. I'm going to put a refined iron here to redstone and you should be able to guess what I'm making there it is electronic circuit we're gonna need one of those we're also gonna need some tin now what we're gonna make is a battery so a battery is made like this and then a copper thing on the middle now if we put this battery in this generator it'll charge but we need to uh, put something in there to you know actually help it charge so this should charge up and I'll be back when it's fully charged. All right, so do you guys remember when I said that I was gonna make something and we'd no longer need those stupid picks? Well, here's what we're gonna make right here, a mining drill. So there's the uh, recipe and the way it'll work is if we use a charged up battery, we'll get a charged up drill. Where's my, there it is. There it is, that mine, mining drill. Now, the trick is, if we do this, put three diamonds. Yes, this is uh, kind of expensive, but we get a diamond drill. Now, this thing is awesome. Watch. Bam, super fast, just like a mining, just like a uh, regular diamond pick, and we no longer need picks anymore. They're useless to me now, because if this thing runs out of charge, all I have to do is plop and it'll get charged right back up and yep so that's uh, that's about it I'll be right back when I figure out what I want to do next okay so there's one thing I want to make real fast and that is a wrench now I'm gonna need uh yeah I'm only gonna need one gear now gears are in buildcraft and you make them like this. Now, if I take a wooden gear and I surround it with cobblestone, I get a stone gear. So now what I want to do with this stone gear is apply it with some iron and we get a buildcraft wrench. Now, I believe this only works with buildcraft stuff like, um, uh, like engines and stuff like that. So we actually need another type of wrench, which is this kind of wrench. 
and we make it using bronze. Now, if you want to know how to use bronze, you need dust. So you need iron dust, not iron dust, sorry. You need tin dust, which I don't believe we have any of. So let me get everything I need and I'll be right back. Okay, so what we're gonna want for this build is some bronze. Now the way we get bronze is by taking one tin dust and applying it with three copper dust and we get two bronze dust. And then we can smelt that and, or uh, not smelt, we can furnaceize that and get just like you might think, bronze. So let's do that again. And then we, I believe we need six. So we need one more, so I'll be right back. And there we go. Now let's do this. And then this. And there's our six bronze. Now we just put it in there. And I'll let it cook up and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Now. We want to take this bronze that looks like that and go like this. There we go. Now, as soon as I want to relocate, all I have to do is right click with my wrench here and it'll plop these off the wall and then I can put them in my pocket and take them somewhere else. And if I were just to beat this with a pickaxe or a diamond tipped mining drill, I would get a machine block. Um, and we don't want that because then we'd have to, you know, reapply everything. Right, so I think I have an idea of what I want to do next. So I will be right back. Okay, so I do know what I want to make, but it's going to take me a lot of furnaceizing. So I will be back when I have absolutely everything that I need. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so here's the first ingredient is we're going to need... A machine block you see me make one of these before nothing too new okay I just went mining for a little bit I got some diamonds but what I'm gonna need I believe I need uh, 16 I need 16 I think coal and I want to macerate it now when you macerate coal you get coal dust so um, in just a second, we're going to see that. And there it is. So when I have tons of this stuff and when I clean up my inventory a little bit, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have 16, I want to do something like this. So when I put four in a crafting table, I get some raw carbon fibers. When I put those together, I get raw carbon mesh. Now, in order to use these, I need a new type of machine called a compressor. So give me just a second while I get the stuff together to make a compressor. Okay, so now that I've got everything, I want to put a machine block here, an electronic circuit here, and then six stone, and we get a compressor. Now, let's put that there. And what that will do is if we put our raw carbon mesh in there, it will compress it, believe it or not, and we'll get a pony later. But that's later. That comes later. But what we get now is a carbon plate. And I need one more of those. So I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. So now I also need some advanced alloy. Now, how am I going to get that, you might ask? Well, I'm going to need some tin, some iron. I want to say it's the um, advanced iron, and some copper. But let me check on that real fast. I can do it right now, actually. Advanced alloy, hit R. Not hit R, actually. What we want to do is... Hang on. Okay, yeah. So we want tin, bronze, and refined iron. So I'm going to get some of that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we've got all that... Well, almost. I need to make one more bronze. And smelt that real fast. And uh, don't worry, guys. As soon as I get a house, I'm going to work on a better way to get power than to just constantly use up coal 
But what we want to do is, I believe it's bronze in the middle, refined iron on the top, and tin on the bottom will give us a mixed metal ingot. And we want to compress this, and I'll tell you what we get in just a second. And we get a advanced alloy. Now we, we need one more, so BRB. I also need some more uh, reinforced iron because I used the the um, reinforced iron that I had made earlier so I'm doing that and then uh, I'm almost ready and there we go okay so we want to make a you guessed it machine block then we want to put this machine block here surround it with the carbon plates and then the advanced alloy and we get an advanced machine block and these are used for the uh, more advanced machines that you find in um, industrial craft now there's one more piece to the puzzle and that is, let me make sure there's nothing in it first, this right there. And now I've got it, an electric furnace. And let's put back this. Okay, so now I've got that. What I want to do is put the electric furnace, actually I believe it's there, the advanced machine block, and then I want to surround that with copper and we'll get an induction furnace. Now, this thing is amazing. So what we want to do is plop it down and we want to, you see this heat percentage? We want to apply a redstone signal to that. So how are we going to do that, you might ask? Well, all we need is a lever. So once we plop the lever down, by the way, if you hold shift, you won't um, open up the interface it'll start gaining heat now the more heat it has the faster it'll go and also you'll notice there's two inputs and two outputs so if I was to put some tin in there and some gold in there they would both cook up now what I'm gonna do is uh, go mine a little bit while I wait for this to get to 100 percent and then I'll be right back guys okay so this guy's hovering around uh, half its its uh, total heat that it can get so what we're going to do is the whole reason I made this is to cook up some cobble. So let's put two stacks in there and you'll see how fast that's going. That's only half. Also, I'm going to have to put some, well, maybe not. Hang on. Um, I think I'm experiencing some kind of a... bug here because whenever I hmm hang on it's it's uh showing that I'm not generating anything but these guys all have energy so not really sure what's going on to be honest but I'll get it all worked out so, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second outside in where I'm going to make my house. All right, guys. Um, oh, I just remembered I'm supposed to meet you out there. All right, so I got a crap load of stone. And what I'm going to do with it is start to make my first house. So what I'm going to do is just build a really large room. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and build a second room connecting next to it. And I'll be right back once I've got that done and uh, once I've got it looking all nice. Alright guys, what's up? I'm finally back and uh, I just finished building the first two rooms of my house. And I'm pretty, how with ha pretty happy with how it looks. Here's my entryway and then there's my second room. Um, so when we come on in, this room is completely finished. It's 9x9. Nine nine. Uh, I like making it an odd number side walls so that the door looks right. And then over here is an 11 by 11. This will be my machine room. I've got all my machines here. And for some reason, when I broke the advanced um, uh, furnace, whatever it's called, I can't recall right now, I got an advanced machine block back. So I'll have to rebuild that furnace, but that shouldn't be too difficult. But uh, yeah, I'll probably do that off camera, and then I still have to put some more glass up here. But yeah, so this uh, this episode's been running kind of long, it, it feels like, I haven't checked, but I'm just going to go ahead and end it here, and um, 
thanks you guys thanks you guys for watching and uh, it would really mean a lot to me if you could leave a comment tell me how I'm doing and what I should keep doing and what I should change and all that so thanks for watching guys